matchup. Actually, this matchup probably, uh, I've never seen this matchup played. I mean, I'm sure, like, the Japanese duck hunts have been played, you know. There's lots of, or there's a good amount of Japanese duck hunts and Toon Links um, back in Japan, so I'm sure they played. I've just never seen it. Um, just theory crafting this matchup. I can see, like, it's just gonna be like a projectile war and just reading which projectile is gonna come up. It's like Gunman. Gunman will bl block the arrows and the boomerang. Boomerang being the more important of the two. But bomb, I mean, it blocks bomb too, but the hitbox and box only come out and it might still hit Duck Hunt. Um, Sayer will be a good answer for Duck or for uh, Gunman um, since it will go through Gunman. Um, I feel like two links, like, you know, weight and float. Body size is pretty good for Duck Hunt. Um, I just turn this up. Duck Hunt can't control the air a bit with this can. So, yeah, but it's definitely gonna be an interesting matchup. Oh, that was super unfortunate. He, um, he didn't want to get hit by the can. Yeah, he didn't want to get hit by the can, so he tried to uh, do the drop tether and just up B, but I guess he's a little slow on his up B. Uh, and he just SDs. I mean, I like the attempt. I think it was a pretty solid option. Um, you, know, you had that can't coming at you, but the execution just wasn't there. How do you feel about this matchup? Well, I just talked about it. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah, okay. So the, the stream already knows, but um, I think it's probably pretty even. Um, even. I think Duckin's probably the worst character of the two. Um, so, like overall, like on the tier list. Um, but they probably have a pretty even matchup. Just feel like projectile war, and they just have to read which projectiles are coming and how they're going to approach the projectile. So many projectiles. Yeah. But, you know, Masamune. No one will get yeah, it. Masamune, he's not, um, he hasn't taken too much damage yet. And you're definitely still in this with um, Rage and next stock. Even if you're 100% down, the duck does have a harder time killing. Um, so you're definitely going to be able to have some opportunities on um, the next stock uh, if it comes to the point where you know you're down like 120% or so. But it just can't, oh well, that was a good coverage on the, um, uh, with the Seems can. Seems pretty aware of the can. Yeah, Masa Moose, or Masa Moon, I think. Masa, Masa Moon, Moon. Yeah, Masa Moon, I think it is. Um, he tried to up B um, backwards so he didn't grab the edge, and he tried to hit uh, Yadiel um, as he was coming up. Of course, Smash going to take it, so definitely 88%. Um, definitely not that big of a disadvantage. Um, so, yeah. That's another thing. Uh, I think that if Tuning ever gets the lead in this matchup, I don't know how Duck Hunt's really going to catch him. That was a good tech. Yeah, but it's going to lead in the jab anyway. I feel like Tuning pretty much gets bombs for free in this matchup. I mean, he gets bombs for free in a lot of matchups. You know, just jump back and pull bombs. He's a pretty full character. Okay. Uh, that back here, not going to take it. Moss and Moon is going to want to be careful about trading. Uh, trades are not in his favor if uh, he's landing with the kill percent. Or if he's landing with the kill move. Yeah, that's going to okay. Oh, no, it's not going to take it. Yeah, that kind of sucks at killing this. So, yeah. I mean, he's just building up this rage. Yeah, that's going to Held on way too long. Yeah. You have to be careful at higher percents when you grab the edge um, because you have less invincibility. Uh, there, you? Yeah. If you're on, if you're at zero percent and you grab the edge, you can literally be on the edge for like two seconds. Like I'm not even joking. It's like two seconds. It also depends on air time. Um, although it's mostly damage percent. So the higher damage you are, the less invincibility you have, and the less time you have to think and come up with an option, rather than if you were on the if you were low percent. Yeah. Up, smash, charge up, smash. A little ambitious, um, trying to read the air dodge, but I don't feel like Gaddy will have any real reason to air dodge in that situation. Mm. I mean, Team Link's like, aerial combo game isn't the scariest. He's not going to chain stuff usually together, so jumping away is a pretty safe option. Uh, like, usually you're just going to get hit by like, a forward air, back air, and that's going to be the end of it. Most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time. Um, so. Uh, you might lose your jump in the process, but you at least you're away from killing. So yeah, no real reason to air dodge. Okay. It seems like um, Masamune is not 
completely aware of the projectiles that Duck Hunt has. Or yeah. the capabilities yeah, I mean, it of takes Duck, a lot Duck of Hunt's projectiles. Um, yeah, really. You know, to look at all of them. And even like knowing which gunman's, uh, you know, how wait you need to, they how long each gunman waits to fire. You know, they have different timings. Oh, really? I would yeah. I would like to see um Monster Mune try to hit the cam back a little bit more against Gadio when it's on the ground. It's it can be pretty difficult when you're in the air. Uh, although you do have a sword, so it was here a little bit safe. He's gonna just join a hitbox. Sure. Yeah, he did it right there. So the cam. Oh, well, he just hit the cam back. So it's when Gadio hits the cam, it's gonna go forward right now. I think. Uh, he hits it the wrong direction. Up air, trying to read the air dodge. Um, and it's very good. Like doing up air stays up for so long. So even if you do air dodge, um, like usually you'll just fall back into it. Wow. I think he threw the bomb instead of jumping. And I think he extended his hurt box into the blast. Zone. I don't think it went yeah. off. I mean, I could be wrong. I might have went off and killed him, but I think him throwing the bomb killed him. See, just like that, like, he got shot by the gunman. Yeah, all the gunmans have different timings, so you don't know still, how long to like, your shield. Or he had such good... See, still, he, he could have shielded and just held it and well, still be safe because of how much distance there was. I mean, that's true in some situations, but there is... Um, when Duck Hunt is closer, he can just run up and grab you. He, wa he wasn't. He was, yeah. he was still a good... He could have... It's just Again, it just seems like Masamune is not aware... Which is fair. I mean, that's, that's a lot of projectiles to deal with. Yeah, I think he's, he took advantage of the can there, um, which that he couldn't bounce forward. Um, so maybe he's adapting a little bit. Oh, wow. Up. Yeah, that kind of shows a little ambitious. I think Pepper Grab would be a lot safer option. He held it too. He, he held that whole thing. Yeah, because um, there is a little bit of a uh, little bit of a mind game there. I guess True. Sometimes. Um, well, a lot of times you want to hold this the charge just so you get as much shield pushback as you can. Um, so it makes it. Um, so they know, can't punish like yeah, with so a grab. Yeah, so it's a little safer. Um, might not be. You know, it might not work all the time. Um, but in that position, it seemed like a pretty solid option. Um, but also, you. Oh, okay. So Gaddy yeah, want to take that 2-0. Surprise that you're killed. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, uh, when you are charging, you, the other person can drop the shield and just like do an out of shield option, like grab or something like that. Um, but the other person can also release it. So usually, usually you don't see them um, dropping their shield. Yeah. 